Are we ready? Cameras on, cameras on. Hello, it's Ali Renee here, you know what I'm saying? We back and we better. Doing my light glowy makeup routine. I already washed my face. I used my, um, I don't even know what I used. But we're gonna spray my face with the La Roche Posay um, Thermal Spring Water. It's always good to put on moisturizer or any type of topical on wet skin. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Roche um, Moisturizer, and then I also use Everyday Humans um, SPF. They're green tea, hyaluronic acid, okay, all the things. Put it all over my face. I'm doing everything in my power to keep my body from aging. <laughs> my skincare routine in the morning and the nighttime is a non-negotiable. I be taking cold showers at the end of every shower I take, so my skin tightens, like the Loctane, Lositane, I really don't know how to say this, forgive me, Immortal Reset. So this is like an all over face serum at night, but I honestly just use it under my eyes because I'm not a serum girl for my face because I'm acne prone and oils on my face scare me. Totally feel you guys who have acne. Like, acne destroys your freaking confidence. Like, so it affects talking to people because when I'm talking to people, all I'm thinking about is them. They're probably looking at my pimples and you can see their eyes. You know how like when you can see a dude look at your boobies? You can see when they look at... See, I didn't have that issue because I don't got no titties. But... I had the issue, I'd be like, bro, why keep your eyes in my eyes, okay? I've been using this Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. So usually, my way of doing like a light glowy look is using, so I use Make Beauty's two concealers. I, I don't know if you can see that. I literally only put them on like the dots. So I would put like, boom, 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 boom. Nothing on my forehead and I just like dab it. Like, and I feel like it's even better because of course it's not as good coverage as if I were to use my concealer, but that's okay. Like honestly, my goal is to wear the least amount, the least amount of makeup as possible. Like I always told myself, like if I'm ever like, say I like star in a movie or something, I will star in a movie. Okay, we got We I can, I must, I will. Um, and I'm like on a red carpet or something like. I want to hit the red carpet with no makeup on, my natural hair, like, that's always been a goal of mine. Like, if I ever, like, am invited to, like, a huge event, like, of course, some events I'm going to look, like, you know, sexy, you know what I'm saying, so I'm going to have my makeup on my hair done, but I want to make a point to, like, go to one, at least, and do no makeup, like, nothing, like, of course my body gonna be snatching my my dress gonna be snatched and my hair is gonna be all curly and nice and done up but just like like just to be real you know coconut ice and i love it because you can lick it off and it tastes so good <laughs> you guys i don't have a towel i literally dried off with a sweater if you can hear my laundry's going, I only own two towels because they were so expensive. They were, I spent $170 on two towels because I've always been buying really cheap towels from TJ Maxx because y'all know, <laughs> oh, I love my TJ Maxx, but they would always like shed everywhere and I had to go through so many towels. And I'm like, right, at this point, I just need to invest in a good towel because I've gone through like 10. Like I'm wasting my money on these cheap towels. So... I got two from like something linen and they're, they are worth the money, I ain't gonna lie. But I ain't gonna buy four of them, I ain't, mm -mm. And today I put them both in the wash before I showered and I was like, ooh, I don't gotta tell. So I dried off with sweatshirt. I didn't have to share that with you guys, but here we are. Show young girls that like, you're gorgeous without like changing so much about your face, you know? Like sometimes I feel like we we do it we put on so much makeup to the point we don't even look like ourselves anymore and i feel like that that that's like a different point like like there's one side of makeup that's like okay it's creative it's cool it's like it's a talent but like when your everyday makeup is changing your entire face and then you don't feel beautiful when it's 
when it's off like that's when it's a problem like i remember during covid i made a point like my thing was always like i could not go a day without mascara like if i didn't have mascara on i felt so ugly like and i was like this is not okay like i need to feel i need to feel beautiful with nothing on so of course i took covid as a great way to like get used to my face and i was like i'm not putting on mascara once like i'm not gonna put on any mascara and it was it was pretty hard for me to like feel beautiful but it was cool because like i didn't have to see anybody so that was like a cheat code but after that like now i feel okay leaving my house with nothing on my face because i've gotten used to how i look and i've found ways to love how i look and just um embrace that but now of course you know i'm gonna wear my mascara okay <laughs> yeah do y'all see that y'all see it okay the lashes are lashes okay you don't want people's only way of seeing you is this whole different person and then on top of that you don't want them loving that other person you want to be loved for how you look people are gonna comment if i looked a certain way like my skin's broken out like i totally feel that side too but sometimes what you think is so ugly is gonna be like the most beautiful part of you to other people. One thing I love to reminisce on and it's just surreal like when I think about it is the things I used to get bullied for and what I was super, super insecure about are the things that I get most recognition about, what I get most complimented on, what's helped me model and those things Number one was my hair. Hated my hair, you guys. And I feel like a lot of curly girls can um, relate to that because your hair is just different. And like, especially if your parents didn't know how to do it, especially if you're mixed or even people who aren't mixed. Some, some moms just don't know how to do black people hair or textured hair, any type of curls. Um, whether it's because they've always had a weave in, whether it's because they were never taught, whether it's because they just straighten your hair, whatever the case is, that's usually part of the problem is not knowing how to properly do it. And then on top of that, when you're in a school, like for instance, I went to a very, very white school. Like there was probably like three black, black people in my school. And, um, I would get bullied for it. And the, the crazy part, the main girl that was bullying me was black. I'm like, girl, that, you want to want, you. She was bullying me. I'm like, girl, you, I know you. you. You supposed to be my sister. You supposed to be my sister. And But yeah, I mean, I got bullied by everybody else too. But like, she was the main one. I'm like, this not even made no sense. But, and like, it's just, when I was younger, I was very like I stood out a lot because I was tall I was overweight and I had a huge afro I mean when I walk in a room you gonna see Allison here come Allison here come big sassy broad I remember having an anxiety attack every freaking morning before school like when I say every morning I'm not exaggerating you guys I would like have to prepare myself for school and then okay let me let me get back to my makeup y'all <laughs> so um i have rare beauty rare beauty is my favorite favorite blush um it's so potent it's so their colors are really light and just pretty and then it leaves a really dewy look i'm not a powder girl i don't use any powder on my face except for highlight i don't like powder at all but anything that's like dewy like this love it anything creamy um i wash all my brushes i wash all my brushes every single day but um yeah, I'm gonna use happy and joy today. First was my hair, then it was my booty chin. I have a little dimple right here, and I also have a dimple right here. I have a lot of dimples, y'all, and I hated my dimples, and I also hated this mole. I remember sitting in class trying to pick this mole off. And then, um, what's another one? My height. People made fun of my height all the time, mainly boys, but now I know it's because y'all was insecure because I was taller than y'all. Y'all wanted my height. That's, that's what it was. Y'all wanted my height. Y'all wanted my height. But now it's like, 
I'm so blessed to have my height because it's helped me with modeling. And I remember you guys, I would stay up all night researching ways to like get shorter, like stunt my growth, how to, how to stunt my growth, um, surgeries in my knee that can stunt my growth. How can I like shorten myself? Like what's, what to avoid that's gonna make me taller? a waste of time bully for it. and then eventually i got bullied for it because i had no booty and people would call me flatty and cinnamon stick and just like because at one point i got really skinny because i was tired of being bullied because i was fat i was like all right y'all gonna call me fat i'm about to get skinny on y'all and i remember i would run laps at recess this was in fifth grade Y'all, I was running laps at recess in fifth grade. Cause then they would make fun of me while I was running. Y'all, I couldn't get away from it. Like, And then, so it's like, I'm skinny now. And now y'all making fun of me because I have no booty. It's like, that's when I learned you can never win. Like, y'all, this is like a whole lecture for y'all. Like, you can never win because people are always going to hate no matter what. Somebody's not going to like how you look. Somebody out there is not gonna like how you talk, how you walk, how you carry yourself. So just stop ple people pleasing. That's that's what I had to learn is you cannot please everybody. You will never make everybody happy. I'm so glad I have those those certain features. Comments on this mall, I get people people love my booty chin. I'm just like, okay, Superman chin, you do your thing, Superwoman, Super Alley, okay. And my curls, like people love my curls. Learn to love what you can't control. What you can control, do what you need to do. Make a plan, do what, you, do what you need to do. If you can control something, you can make a change. Like, everything is a choice. But when it's something you can't control, like, like my, I have broad shoulders. I, that was another insecurity I've had. But I can never, ever, ever change my broad shoulders. No matter if my arms are strong, if they're not strong, I'm gonna look like a linebacker. My shoulders are wide, okay? I know it, 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 I can't control it. I can't get surgery. I mean, maybe I can, but I'm not gonna do that. But, you know, you just gotta learn to love it and embrace it, okay? Like, y'all, I start boxing. Like, out of all things, when you got broad shoulders, you gonna start boxing? Make them more broad? Yes, yes. Take into account, like, okay, I have no control over this. I can hate this my whole life and stress over it my whole life, which is gonna do absolutely nothing for me. Or I can learn how to love it. You got a, you got a choice. I just did Rare Beauty's um, flaunt highlighter. Oh my gosh, this is the, I don't wanna knock it over. Can you see? Yes. It's like a rose gold one. I freaking love this one. As you guys can see, I love Rare Beauty. And like all their like pink stuff, it's all so cute. Whenever I'm about to make a choice. What I say in my head is, would future Ali like this choice or regret she, she made this choice? And that usually, most of the time, helps me with the decisions I'm making. And this was Milk Beauty's Makeup Hydro Grip Spray. Y'all, this keeps me good all day. Like, I feel like it keeps me really shiny and like cute. Hey, you guys, that was blush, highlight, and tinted moisturizer. <laughs> Are we surprised it's more Rare Beauty? Y'all, I swear this video's not sponsored. This is Rare Beauty's lip oil. It's just such, it leaves a perfect stain. Like, and it's just a perfect light pink. Meow! Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills sparkle over it cause nothing wrong with a little sparkle. So cute. Um, and then I just carry this with me throughout the day. This is the best. Y'all, this is all my storefront, but this thing, this thing, and that, that thing, this thing is like super glossy and it's super moisturizing. This is like Vaseline, but way better. I love Vaseline because it's just, sometimes you just want moisture. Like I don't want no lipstick, no lip gloss, no sticky, no sparkle. I just want to feel moisturized and not sticky. This is what you want. I'm telling y'all, you you don't even have, I don't have to, have to, I don't even have to talk about it. Just go buy it and then you gonna be like, oh my gosh, Ellie, you so right. You so right, girl. Because um, it's not my face, so if it like breaks out a little bit, I, I can easily adjust for that. But like, this hasn't, this hasn't broken out my chest, which is nice. It just keeps it shiny and tight. 
um whatever you do to your face do to your chest go get dressed and we're gonna go do some frugal shopping which will be my next video but that was the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time ellie out ooh, ooh, ooh.